I watched a little film this morning uh, on this Texans offense. And um, I had a couple of things in mind as, as I watched, so I, so I watched uh, closely. There's some, there's some thoughts floating around out there. And, and, look, I know a lot of it's on social media, and, and, but I have heard the conversations within our groups of, of, of uh, media members. And um, I just got to set the record straight. Set it. Damian Pierce ain't the problem. Mmm. Now what D'Amico said. Y'all ain't got lightning, but y'all love me. Damian Pierce ain't the problem. D'Amico did. I, I, I got I to get with Andre Ware right here. Wow. I'm, yeah, I'm with you, Dre. 31 is not the problem. Now, are there, you know, a play here or there where, hey, man, you should have bounced it? Should have should have stuck with the block. The cutback clearly wasn't there. You cut back and lost a yard. If you'd have just If you'd have just committed to the blocking scheme maybe you could have popped it outside or you know there, yeah sure there's there's moments like that but you don't watch um, it thinking boy we got it we got it we got to get two six in there i don't watch Mike Boone. i don't watch this team struggles to run the football and go yeah man he's changed running backs we got a shot now devin singletary clearly a little shiftier um he may make the first guy miss when that guy's unblocked um, but if that's your answer to your run game, is, well, let me get a shifty guy that can that can make guys miss three yards deep in the backfield. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. That, 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 I don't know if that's that's gonna yeah. that's gonna make things uh, yeah. you know better. Maybe Barry I, Sanders is available. I, right, <laughs> you know, that's why I'm mean. <laughs> forcing him into retirement early. I, I don't. I mean, here's the deal, Ron. And there's there's a lot wrong. This isn't just a running back, or this isn't just a right tackle, or a center, or or, or I, I've said it a lot. That these defenses are. are, are they they are they have the ability to suffocate this offense. The linebackers and and edge rushers they have quick triggers because this team is 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 uh, playing on schedule way 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 too much. Uh, there's no explosive. There's no there's no big play. There's really no interest in even trying it. So uh, that's going to be a problem. I, I'm going to tell you the one thing that sticks out the, 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 about this run game. First, 31 is the problem. Secondly, is there's simple stuff that I've watched multiple offensive linemen struggle with that the only answer I have, and I know people people accuse me of always being too harsh on coaching. The only thing I can point to is coaching. In this, I'm not saying it's the whole problem, but in this instance, I have never watched, I have never watched a team, an offensive line, appear to try to double team a, a defensive player and one guy just completely leave the double team before the other guy takes it over the ideal in the saw it in the Atlanta game too. oh bad awful I mean awful it, it's and, and then and who then, are the culprits uh George Fant and Quentin Tor- uh, uh Tegan Quatoriano one time um it's out there rough for Dalton it's it, it was I can't remember exactly who it was, but but it, that's what I'm saying. It's been I mean the, before before um, Titus Howard was at left guard. Titus Howard was involved in one of them. Kendrick Green, um, would, would Kendrick Green did it multiple times. Evan Patterson, yeah. Um, I mean, but it's it's just one of those where you remember the play. I think it was Tank Dale's eight yard loss or whatever, where where it looks like he just got swarmed. Yeah. Ron. George, a lot of people are going to blame it on George Fant, but it wasn't. George Fant pulls, and and Bud Dupree is so wide that he, that he 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 jams he jams George Fant. George Fant was to be supposed to put put like pass off Bud Dupree to Tegan Quatoriano. and he gets pushed a little bit deeper than you wanted to, but but he but he he did he got the job done, and he gets outside, and if Tank Dell just stays outside and commits to it, he pops that thing outside, and you got George Fant out there. Blocking air, like he's leading up on on whoever the most dangerous man is, and Tegan Quatoriano is on him. George Fant leaves him, and Tegan goes and gets some linebacker and leaves Bud Dupree right there. And then you the same play, you bump up and you look at at, at what was going on with, I think it was one of the wide receivers or something, and you're just like same thing on one play. And so it's it's like I've seen enough of that. Like this team, when you should, if you just double a guy, if you never come off to the next level, if you just double a guy and dominate that guy, like in that, if George Fant and Quentin uh, Tegan Quatoriano, if they would have just doubled Bud Dupree and 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 quit his penetration, like stopped his penetration, you'd have popped that thing for four or five yards, right? 
It, I mean, it's just like it, it's it's it's, and I'm using those guys. I'm, I'm just the uh, two of the two of the the losses that Damian Pierce had, like three yard losses. Same exact thing, and it's just one of them deals where it's like it's. I've seen it left side, right side, inside, outside, tight ends, offensive linemen. I've seen it at the first level, at the so second. The thought level. is there, this is somewhere being coached. They can't be missing this on the on on film and then just keep. Continue doing. I'm just going to tell you, if, if I were the offensive line coach and I were coaching double, because they, they they try they, for whatever reason they're trying to force the zone schemes, like the out, inside outside zone runs, and that's a big part of it. Is if you you've got it, you've got to double and get push on the down line. I mean, whether you're them wide or pushing them back, you've got to control those guys before you get to the next level, right? That, well, they're just they're not controlling those guys, and so those guys are just totally disruptive. And it's just like it, it's if I were the offensive line coach, I would be embarrassed by mm. what these guys are putting on film sometimes. I mean, and, and I, I, I I disagree. By the way, I, I totally disagree after watching the offensive film with D'Amico Ryan's that there's explosive plays out there. And he said that he said he thinks the line has been has not been the problem. Totally disagree. Now, no, look, I, now there's multiple problems. Don't get me wrong. But but th- what to me, what sticks out the most is that there are very basic football. All these guys have been running inside outside zone since they were since they were at least junior high football. It's the first it's the first damn run scheme outside of just just trying to road grade your guy and man blocking whoever's over your head in terms of a tandem like a whole offensive line trying it's the first thing you do. It's the for like getting on a double team and getting to the second level and allowing the guy to take over a, a, a defensive tackle before you get to the second level. It's one of the the very fundamentals of playing the offensive line position. And and these guys these guys have have struggled with it. And like I said, it's not – I will give leeway if it's Calais Campbell, if it's Grady Jarrett, if it's like constantly – if it's Aaron Donald, if it's Chris Jones. And it's like, man, they just can't block these cats. But, that's but not it's not. It's Bud Dupree. You know what I mean? It's it's guys that have – it's – it's it's I mean, true second-level inside linebackers that these guys at from time – like that they'll – Tegan Torian will have an angle, like literally have – all you got to do is get in his way and cut him off. And, and, and the guy goes underneath him. I mean, it is, to me, that has to be fixed first and foremost before this offense ever considers changing running backs or, uh, you, you know, ch- changing the approach to, to offensive football. Now, you can argue they may need to try some more G-scheme stuff to where you're, you're blocking down and you're pulling guards and tackles and you're pulling those tight ends and leading them up in the gap and have a little more aggressive get off initially instead of spreading to the sideline. You can argue there's some scheme things that could change as well, but to me it don't if you if guys can't execute the fun, basic fundamental double team, then you you're not you're not going you're not going to run the foot period. That's why that's why I kept saying this Ron. I don't know what they got the dudes, man. And you don't mean the back. No, it ain't got no no, it ain't got nothing to do with the back. Hell, you can put as you said, you put Barry Sanders back there you want to. I mean, it's like I don't know if they have. I don't see the mentality. Yeah. I don't see the. That's gonna say it's interesting because the, the the two coordinators that we look at obviously where he came from in San Francisco, and then when we watch Mike McDaniel in Miami, those they are running the football at a high yeah. high clip, and it's just like it's like at times I watch and I'm like I don't even know that I they even seem like they run the same. Stuff in terms of the run game, yeah, and maybe it just gets ate up so quickly. Ron, Ron, there, there's one, there's one where, do you remember the play where Damian Pierce got tackled by a safety, like in the hole? The hole was wider than all get out. And he gets tackled in the hole, like the, 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 the and everybody looks like, damn, Damian, you got to make that guy miss. You got to run through him. You got to run over him. Something. I, I remember Tank Dale chased him down to the hole, like Tank Dale was supposed to block him. Tank had no no chance, e- even if he was 200 pounds, he didn't have a chance, right? But it, it's one of those where, like. Andrew Beck pulls and and is is leading up in the hole, and he runs right by this safety. Like I mean, this this safety standing right there. The safety done crept up in the box and steps and and Beck runs right by him and bends the corner back to his right to try to get a linebacker that's kind of caught up in the, in the watch. Ran right by the most dangerous guy. Like you, it was a safety. Andrew Beck should have should have like ate his face mask. I mean, should have just mauled him. And we just run right by him. It's like we're we're so. Everybody from tight end to offensive line, we're so worried about technically getting to the second level or technically getting my guy. Screw it, man. Just maul the guy that's in front of you. Whether it's a double team or or you're pulling and you're leading in the hole, the first color jersey that's not yours absolutely 
rip his head off. And, and it's it's just not like they're we're not even remotely close to like let me get a piece of it. There's a couple of there's a couple of shots on film where Titus Howard uh and Shaq Mason, where you can tell they're like almost manhandling dudes. You know, whether it's just like we're in the hole, okay, I'm gonna turn him and get my back to where the, the back is. I'm gonna turn I'm just gonna i I'm gonna I'm gonna use my upper body strength and I'm gonna turn him. There's a couple of those. But other than that, man, it's just I, I really and you know the crazy thing too? Like George Fant appears to have like that some of that dog in him. When he gets a chance, he like he just he seems to have a, a bad intentions. I just don't know, Ron, if they got the dudes that are gonna be able to run as, as much money as they got across, across that deal. I, I don't know if they got the dudes that are that are gonna be able to I get I mean, it done. is it a I guess is it a it's not that it's so much a physical blocking scheme, is it? Like it, it, it like well, the zone but, but read is but, more about that, athletic guys. Yeah, getting out, but. yeah, but there's something about like Ron, if 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 you've got if me and you are shoulder to shoulder, I'm on your right, you're on my left, and there's a guy that's 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 head up on me, or maybe he's on my inside shoulder, and I know you we're coming, you're coming, we're coming to the right. You you I gotta I gotta bump this guy and slow this guy down long enough for you to get over there where I'm at and you to get position on him so that I can I can then go to the second level, like I know you have no chance. If I just, like, put a hand on him. Like, if I don't ever stop his momentum, if I don't put my shoulder in his chest or put both of my hands in his chest and stop his feet, Ron Ugly has no chance of taking this thing over. And and they just, there's there's a lot of it on film where it's just like, all right, hey, Ron, <laughs> here, here, I'm going I'm to tap this guy on the shoulder as I run by him. Good luck getting over here, bro. Yeah, get over I mean, here. That, you got to get across. Yeah, it just, that just, ain't, that just, this isn't going to work, man. So we, we can talk about 31. We can talk about Devin getting more carries. We can talk about, what's 22's name? Mike Boone. We can talk about Boone Dog getting more carries. But at the end of the day, you can put whoever the hell you want to back there until this offensive line it, it starts executing the basic fundamentals and quit passing up. Uh, the, the other color jerseys just to go hunt your guy down until they change that th- this isn't going to this isn't going to get any better